Good morning, everybody, and welcome to uh, today's Thought for the Day. Uh, today, we are going to be looking at uh, Isaiah 46. Um, so I thought it'd be really great if we just start by reading it. So uh, I'm going to read it out now. Uh, feel free to join along if you've got a Bible to hand. So Isaiah 46, the idols of Babylon and the one true God. Bel bows down, Nebo stoops. Their idols are on beasts and livestock. These things you carry are born as burdens on weary beasts. They stoop, they bow down together. They cannot save the burden, but themselves go into captivity. Listen to me, O house of Jacob, all the remnant of the house of Israel, who have been born by me from before your birth, carried from the womb. Even to your old age I am he, and to grey hairs I will carry you. I have made, and I will bear, I will carry, and I will save. To whom will you liken me, and make them me equal, and compare me, that we may be alike? Those who lavish gold from the purse, and weigh out silver in the scales, hire a goldsmith, and he makes into a god, then they fall down and worship. They lift it to their shoulders, they carry it, they set in its place and stand it there. It cannot move from its place. If one cries to it, it does not answer or save him from his trouble. Remember this and stand firm. Recall it to mind your transgressors. Remember the former things of the old, for I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is no other like me, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times things not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will accomplish all my purpose. Calling a bird of prey from the east, the man of my counsel far, from a far country, I have spoken, and I will bring it to pass. I have purpose, and I will do it. Listen to me, you stubborn of heart, and you who are far from righteousness, I bring near my righteousness. It is not far off, and my salvation will not delay. I will put salvation on Zion for Israel, my glory. Wow, what a great passage to uh, to have a look at today. So um, I think the way I want to have a little look at this is maybe just have a little look at what, um, you know, what I can pick up from the verses uh, and just maybe look at how we can apply that today uh, in our in our lives um, today. So um, I think, again, what's great about this is that a lot of it, you know, again, Isaiah is prophesying here about the the fall of Babylon uh, and the fall of the idols of Babylon, uh, Bel and Nebo. So, um, and I think it's so relevant for today as well because I think idols are something that we all struggle with even today. Um, this isn't just something that Israel was struggling with. It's something that um, we struggle with um, today as, as as human beings. So, um, one thing again, just having a look at the first the first verses one to two. Um, it talks a little bit about having to carry the idols of Babylon, so having to carry Bel and Nebo. Um, and I remember listening to a really great preach um, where I can't remember who it was done by, but um, basically the, the gentleman was saying that um, you shouldn't have to carry your God. If, you, if you're carrying your God, then perhaps that's not, you know, that isn't the right God. Um, so I think one thing we can look at throughout the entire Bible is that God carries us, you know. Um, it, again, like I say, talks a little bit about that in this. So um, again, moving on a bit further down the chapter, uh, it talks about God carrying us, um, you know, maybe from verse 3, let's have a look. So uh, listen to me, O house of Jacob, all the remnant of the house of Israel, you who have been born by me uh, from before your birth, carried, so again, carried from the womb, even to your old age, I am he, so, uh, and to your grey hairs, I will carry you. I have made and I will bear, I will carry and I will save. Again, what a great bit of text there, you know, so it's talking about God carrying us through all the way from birth to, you know, to when we're old, uh, grey and eventually death, I will carry it and I will save. So again, absolutely love that, you know, again, talks about God carrying us, whereas we have a little bit, you know, Isaiah's talking here about, 
you know, the idols of, of Bel and Nebo having to be carried. Um, and then, again, one of my favourite verses from this uh, particular passage uh, in Isaiah is, um, you know, a question from, from you know, from God. Uh, to whom will you liken me and make me equal and compare me that we may be alike? I think that is such a great challenge, you know. God is asking us, like, why, who is it? Why are these idols being made to be equal to me? You know, this is the, you, you know, the God of the universe, the God of eternity. Um, and so I just think that's, you know, so key uh, in what we're looking at, you know. We shouldn't ever alike and, you know, get anything on the same level as God, particularly idols. I think just looking at it today, you know, there's so many. It could be um, career, it could be money, it could be even maybe some, like, things that you think are nice, like family. It's great to, you know, have a, uh, you know, aspire to have a great family, but is it replacing God? You know, is it equal to God? Um, and I think what, what God is saying here through Isaiah is, you know, there, there are idols, you know, in our lives that we need to have a real reality check and go, okay, what, you know, what am I putting on my pedestal, you know, pedestal, what am I putting up there, you know, what's taking the place of God, what is like God, again, we use some examples of money, you know, career, finance, um, or, you know, finance, um, family, um, and again, not necessarily saying they're bad things, but are they replacing what we view you know, as um, you know, as our as our as our one true God, as our you know, God is our our everything. Um, I'm going to pray now, um, and then that'll conclude our today's thought for the day. So, Lord God, we thank you so much that you are um, a loving God, uh, a God that wants to carry us through life, uh, a God that forgives us when you know we put other things above you. And I pray today, Lord, that we will be able to have a look at who is on our throne, be able to have a look at what we are putting as our idol. And Lord, if it isn't of you, Father, would you take it away in Jesus' name? And that we would be able to place you on our throne, be able to replace you, Father, put you on our throne, Lord Jesus. And we would pick, pick up what we are carrying and we would go, Father. And I pray for, for everybody struggling with idols, whether it be money, health, career, whatever it is, Lord Jesus, whatever it isn't, Father, that isn't you, I pray you would help us replace it. I pray you'd help us realign our thoughts and just have you as our number one again, Jesus. I pray you'd be with us all today, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you soon.